26 foot out back just came in on trade here Halet RV of Coldwater Michigan front quad bunk saying 26 feet on an outback is a little bit misleading uh, at least a classic outback because the bed comes out the back that's actually where the name came from outback not it's funny it's not very complicated but it's something most people actually hadn't considered um, front quad bunk means uh, four front windows for some extra light I like to get the elephants out of the room right away uh, I'll let you know right off the bat there was a point of water penetration uh, inside it's really not major and I'm gonna show you when we get in there but the termination strip which is where the front wall meets the roof that had a seam failure and you can see it on the inside I'll show that to you when we get there this does have an enclosed belly I forgot the weight offhand but the stickers inside and I'll look that up for you so just bear with me a little bit she was stored outside and it looks like the front um, uh, passenger's corner was the side that uh, saw the sun the most and uh, I can kind of tell that from the decals by and large really not a bad unit you know I mentioned it has that point of water penetration because I, I prefer transparency and honesty in sales but all in all pretty nice trailer this is a manual rear bed slide which is something that helps keep the weight down um, it does have these little support runners it is not hard to set up guys listen if uh, chicken arms Mick computer pants here can uh, set up one of these things you can do it it is not difficult or complicated by any stretch um, big cross breeze windows here and these are jealousy windows so they're gonna um uh, or no pardon me those are where are those that's a jealousy window i gotta see if that's a jealousy or a slider i gotta look at it actually now that i shot my mouth off here um little outside mini kitchenette and this is really the predecessor to to today's full-blown outside kitchen um the, the uh, little kitchenettes here were something that uh i don't know that outback was the first but they were the first mainstream to do it consistently to, to offer that feature out there so this does have an all aluminum structure we have um laminated floors and walls that's what helps keep the weight in check and one of the things that uh, put outback on the map was not just lighter weight but they were lighter in every respect even meaning wood tones and whatnot they have the, the lighter woodwork inside um it, it in a smaller no slide trailer the the brightness the extra light that you get as a result in here makes it feel not so small let's go ahead and get well two things let me look up the weight then we're going to show you where that leak was then we'll go through the rest of the trailer uh, 4780 is the dry weight on this one 4780 pounds and if you're a friend from canada 2168 kilograms welcome um, in Canada, we don't call them decals, we call them decals. Um, or I guess you wouldn't. Anyway, so up front here, this is the termination strip where the ceiling meets the front wall. Now, you don't see any water damage here because that was replaced. You do see a little wavy wallpaper over here. Let me climb up here. And uh, you can see that there's still solid structure underneath. The water got into the wall enough that it peeled the wallpaper off a little bit and bubbled it, but it didn't wreck the wall. There's not mold spores in the wall, and I know that because if there's mold spores in a wall, it looks like braille, and uh, you don't see that here. Same thing on this wall. It did the same thing on both sides of the trailer, and even less so over here. So, it's there. It's completely ineffectual, but you deserve to know about it, and I don't hide stuff from people. So if that is not a disqualifier for you, please stay tuned. If it is a disqualifier for you, I get it. That's why I talk about it. I don't hide things. I don't lie to people. Um, so the rear bed slides in. You actually fold down the dinette and the sofa to make the room for that. So you fold these down into a sleeping position, pull the bed in or push it in, as it were, and then it locks in place. Both the sofa and dinette, as a result, obviously do fold down into sleepers. And the benefit here is where this this bed doesn't eat up our floor space. We have 26 foot of total camper, real camper, on the floor. 26 foot walkable floor space with a bonus 5 foot sticking off the back of the trailer. That means that instead of a 31 foot big heavy bunkhouse, we get to stay in this 4,700 pound uh, potentially bigger SUV towable bunkhouse. I did notice that all of their countertops are like a plastic type resin so they're waterproof they're also extremely lightweight like this table you see it's not a pedestal table it's a freestanding it's the same type of material it's very lightweight what's neat about that is that can go outside and if you forget and leave it in the rain who cares it's plastic nothing wrong is going to happen to it central heat central air good spring summer fall camper ultralights are not four seasons campers there are no four seasons ultralights keep that in mind there's some very well made ultralights there's some good extended season uh, ultralight campers nothing truly four seasons um 
your cabinet doors are a one piece molded door. So there's no seams where this thing can fall apart going down the road. This is made for high mileage towing. And that's one of the reasons they have the nicer uh, hinge cabinets on here as well. I like too that the sink and the countertop is all one piece so that water can't slip into a seam and penetrate and give like, if, if there's a, a, a crack around a normal camper um, sink and um, the water slips down in there, it'll work its way back down through your cabinets all the way down to your floor. And by the time you see it out here, it's way too late. You got a big, big problem. Pretty good kitchen cabinet storage there too. And we also have nice uh, pantry space over here. And I've always been a sucker for when the storage comes to you instead of you going to the storage. I've always liked that. I like too that the refrigerator inserts match the rest of your cabinetry for just a nice cohesive look. Now, this is a remote control heating and air system. This is also your thermostat. So if you leave it on the wall, it's gonna work just like a normal thermostat. But what I like is that it climate controls to wherever you are if you bring this with you. So if you set this on the table while you're playing cards, it'll climate control over to here. Speaking of playing cards, you know you are an RVer from Michigan when you can say and spell and play Euchre. Um, that's how I know you're an actual Michigan camper. Uh, bathroom here, pretty rank and file, pretty standard, but you know what? It all it has to be as effective. It's not like you're gonna hang out here just because it's a fun place to be. Now they do have good linen space in here. I'll, I'll give them credit for that. They they put a good linen cabinet in here. And I do like too that they have the sink cover for the uh, sink in here as well. So you have a little prep space, you know. That way if you need to set down a blow dryer or shave or something, you're all set to do that. This is a cool quad front bunkhouse. And at a glance, you're like, well, I've seen them just like this before. But when you look a little closer, you see you've got these extra wardrobe closets on both sides uh, of the bunkhouse here. You've got one there and you've got another over here. What that means is that you have a little kid bunk and a big kid bunk on both sides, so plan accordingly. Um, the uh, extra storage in here is just worth its weight in gold. There is, uh, There are some storage pockets from the outside, and there is a pass-through. Plus, on top of everything else, we still have this big front closet with a pair of dresser drawers down here as well. Entertainment center above with some hookups up here. Uh, so on a rainy day, uh, you, the kids can kind of have their own little you know, camp out space without you know everybody fighting for the same room. But we still have a table and chairs. It's still very social. And that's what I like about this arrangement. This is very social. You can sit there and play cards and have fun with your friends and family and neighbors. And camping's different for everyone, but for me, making memories with your family and friends, to me, that's what it's all about. So give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping, everybody.